works and like why I put it in if it didn't work. So um, but it was that was good to see our guys go out and execute it. Are you surprised at all at how, how dominant this performance was? No, uh, really I'm not. Um, I think we gotta have ourselves a really good football team. And I keep telling our guys every week, um, we haven't played our best ball game yet and we're getting closer. Time eight weeks for us, starting next week. Coach, it seems like each week the team comes out with a fire that maybe surpasses the week before. What's the key to keeping them so motivated? Well, we, every week we uh, reset our standards. You know, it don't matter who we're playing. You know, and, um, and that's what great teams do. We reset our standards and, and go out and we judge ourselves by our efforts that we put out there each, each and every Saturday. So we're just going out every week trying to compete against ourselves every week. And if there's anything, Probably that. It's just every week we want to see how good we can be. So our guys are motivated by doing that. I could be wrong, but it looked like you were getting a little emotional before the game during Coach Harbaugh's uh, ceremony. What were the words behind that? Maybe behind uh, that? Um, I think I get emotional whenever I talk about Coach. Um, he's, he's done so much for me, and he's done so much for our university. And um, He's just a great person, a great guy. Think about some of my teammates that that I always talk about him now. You know, just how he changed a lot of people's lives, and I mean, he's everything what a coach should be. You know, and um, for him to get recognized today, and him and his wife um, was again something that needed to be done. It was overdue, and it was it was great for it to happen in an environment like like we had today. And it was great for our guys to go out and, and play the way they did. Um, for, for Coach Harbaugh and, and Miss Harbaugh in our um, 92 team and 2002 team. It's a great environment. And I was just so happy that Coach Harbaugh was able to uh, witness and, and, and be a part of this and show, and for the whole WKU Hilltop Nation to show their appreciation to him and his wife for all they've done for us. What are, what are some similarities and differences between him and his two sons? Um, not much at all. Not much at all. They all are fiery. Um, Jim is probably spitting the image of his dad, you know, and, and, and John got a little fire in him too, but uh, he's a little more laid back. But Coach Harbaugh has juice all the time. He said every day attack, he stay with an enthusiasm I know to mankind, and he literally, he literally d does that. Tom said you're more of a Harbaugh than he is. I think that's accurate. I don't know, Tom. Tom married. <laughs> he married into the Harbaugh and have a kid, but uh, yeah, we we're all close and uh, we're all about the same thing and, and, and been trying to be the best that we can do. And you know, it's just it's great for me personally to to have some um, to have them to lean on and you know, mentor and coach Harbaugh and Jack and, and, and role model. 
gym for me to just have those guys around. So he's just, he was, you know, a guy that was about doing things the right way, you know, and everything, not just football, but in life. And, and, and that's huge. And I try to surround myself around good people, and I got lucky when Jim Harbaugh came and recruited Coach, uh, everything went great for you guys. The only one downer was Dowling getting ejected. So does that mean you guys won't have him for Arkansas State? No, he'll be back. Um, He'll be back against Arkansas State. Uh, I think it was great for us to have a commissioner here at our game, and um, he mentioned that he'll be back next week. So there won't be a suspension? No, won't. Considering the way uh, last year Arkansas State, I know it's the first conference game of many, but considering that that almost that pretty much ultimately decided last year's conference, was that is that something you'll talk to your players about? No, we're going to talk about what we, we set ourselves up for. I mean, our goals that we talked about at the beginning of the year. You know, we we wanted to create national identity and, and, and be a dominant team in our conference. You know, and, and we want to win the Sunbelt Conference. That's always our goal. And um, we always talk about learning from our mistakes. You know, and our football team is starting to do that now. And, and, and that's another one of our mistakes that we got to learn from. You know, and we got to win them off, not making excuses, um, not blaming anyone. We got to go out and do it. And, uh, we, we, been through it last year. We know that one loss uh, killed us. So we have to try to try to win them all. And, and the first one is Arkansas State. And our guys are motivated. You know, the last time we lost to a team other than the number one team was to Arkansas State. And so um, they're going to be plenty motivated. And they're the defending champs. You know, so uh, they're the champs until someone beat them. So we got to go and have a great week of practice and, and, and reset reset our standards for next week. Cool. Sorry.